So today I'm going to show you how to use Windows Movie Maker step by step from start to finish. Let's play the video first. Some of the things that I'll be covering are importing your clips onto your timeline, also how to cut your individual clips, as you can see here, and I'll be showing you how to add smooth transitions in between your clips. For example, you can see here the smooth transition in between the clips. So I'll show you how to do that and also how to add a title like you see here in the video. Also, I'm going to show you how to add music and a narration as well. So if you listen carefully, there you go. And finally, I'm going to show you how to add cool effects, for example, black and white, and of course, how to add your title page at the beginning of your video, and also an end page at the end of your video. So we're gonna cover quite a lot of things in a short amount of time, so let's get started. So first thing we want to do is open Windows Movie Maker. I've got it pinned down here, so I'm just going to click on it. So this is the dashboard area, and this is where the magic happens up here. Now to import your videos and photos, click this button here. So I'm going to select this one. If you hold down control on your keyboard, you can select multiple clips and the other ones will still be selected as well. So it's really useful to know that. Okay, so I've selected four clips, this one, this one, and this one, and this one above. Click open. Sometimes if your video files are very big, it can take a while for Movie Maker to prepare them and uh, import them onto your workspace area. Now to play our clips on the timeline, we can press the space bar on our keyboard, like so. Now if I want to cut this section here, so just before this part of the car pops up, I can move my cursor like this. So this is the magic wand. So I'm just going to place it here. And then if I want to cut my clip, I go to edit and split. And then I can drag my cursor all the way to the output area, so where I want to cut the second part of the clip. So let's say from here. And again, I'm going to click on split. As you can see, you've got this blue outline up here on this particular clip right now. And the second part is what I want to delete, so I'm going to click on it. The blue outline is now selected on the second part, and that's a good thing. And then I'm going to right click on my mouse and select remove. So this is one way to delete an unwanted clip. Okay, so another way to delete an unwanted clip is to go to home and then here where it says remove on the top middle section here, click on it. And this is another way to remove an unwanted clip. Now, if you want to edit any parts of your clip, you need to double click on it and you will see the videos tool section up here. And in this area, you can speed up the clip, for example, or you can fade it in and out and you can also increase and decrease the volume of your clip. So for example, if you want to make this louder, we can, it's already selected. We can then increase the volume of this part of the clip. And if you want to speed up this clip, you just go to speed here. And I'm going to select four times four, which is more than double the original speed. And let's have a look at how this looks. Okay, there you go. We can also mute this uh, particular clip and then it's a lot more professional. So if we mute it, then play again. Okay, so this is how to speed up your clip. So next thing I'm going to show you how to do is add a transition or add transitions in between your clips. Now to add transitions, it's really easy. What you need to do again, go up here to the magic area and then click on animation. And there's so many transitions that you can choose from, as you can see. If I press this arrow pointing downwards and I just scroll down a bit, this is my favorite one. It's called Crossfade. And this is also one that I use very often. So the blur through black. 
and this one as well, so just blurring. These are the three most professional ones, I think, that most people use in their videos, so I highly recommend using them, especially the crossfade. So I'm going to use the crossfade here. So as you can see, it's added the transition in between this clip and this clip. If I want to add another transition in between these two clips here, I just need to click on, not the first one, but the second one after the first clip that I want to add the transition to, click on it, and then choose your transition. So let's go with the blur through black. Now, if you want to edit this transition, let's say I want to make this half a second rather than one second. I just click on 50 or 0 0.50. Now it's half a second. Now, if I want to add a transition to all of my clips, for example, what I need to do is go to home, click on select all, as you can see, that blue outline is now on every single clip of ours. And then I go back to animation and I can choose any of the transition that I want to apply there. For example, the crossfade. Boom. Now it's added transition in between all of my clips, including the beginning as well. And of course, while it's selected, you can also change the duration. So let's make that half a second. Okay, there you go. So that's how to add transitions and also how to edit a transition. The next thing I want to show you how to do is add a title or a caption. So to do that, um, you go to home. So let's add a caption right at the beginning here. We've put the cursor right at the beginning and now we can click on caption. And once you click on caption, you will see this box appear underneath your clip and also a box appear on your actual video here. So I'm just going to delete this uh, highlighted text here. Now, if you want to move your caption, you can by double clicking on it, make sure that it's uh, highlighted and then you can move it wherever you want. So you can put it here, you can put it there, wherever you want. Also, you can change the duration of the captions. Let's make this, for example, much longer. So for example, four seconds, boom. As you can see now your text is four seconds. So that's how to change the duration of your caption. We can also add an effect to our caption. If we want to do that, the boxes up here, you can choose any of the effects. So for example, this one or this one. So if we want to change the font, we can do that here. I'm going to choose love you like a sister there you go drag it out so that it's fully visible and then we can also give it an outline so to add an outline we go here to the top right hand corner and then we can choose the outline that we want so let's choose a narrow outline and let's make the outline color blue and let's make the text color yellow, for example. That usually stands out very well. So now it's a lot more visible compared to what we had before if we play. So this is how to add a caption and also how to edit your caption. Also, just to note, if you want to know where to find free fonts online, I've made a tutorial on how to download uh, free fonts onto your computer and then you can add that to your movies and things like that. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna show you how to do is to add narration. Now to add a narration, what you need to do is you need to make sure again you are here at the home area and then you want to click on record narration. So once you do that and you're ready to record, click on this red button here and I'm just going to start recording myself now. So, hello everybody. This is a tutorial on Windows Live Movie Maker and then stop the narration boom when you're ready of course you can save it whatever name you want to give it so i'm just going to call it test and save okay and that's how to add a narration so if you play hello everybody this is a tutorial on windows live maker okay there you go so that's how to add a narration if you want to cut it in different areas what you need to do is you want to double click on it and then you will see this narration tools bar up here. And this is where you can edit your narration. So you can edit the start time, the end point, how long it is. 
you can fade it in and out if you want and you can also increase the volume of your narration so let's increase the volume for example all the way to the top if we want to cut the narration we can simply go to the area that we want to cut it and then split so once I hit split as you can see it split both of the narration clips and then I select this one by clicking on it and then it's the same way you cut a clip you right click and remove it's that simple and then you can drag it to wherever you want it to be for example here now there's something I would like you to know which is really useful and that is if you go to project up here in the menu area you can emphasize so the volume of the video you can emphasize the volume of the music you've added or you can emphasize the narration so whatever you click here is what will be loudest Okay, the next thing I'm going to show you how to do is add music. So to add music, again, I'm going to put my cursor position where I want to add music. And then here in the menu area, I'm going to click on home. And here where it says add music, click on the arrow pointing down and then click on the second option, add music at the current point. Click on it. Okay, so I'm just going to select something. Let's choose the more night. If you want to edit your music track, you double click on it and then the music tool option will appear and this is where you can edit all of the different features for your music track. So for example, you can make the music louder here. Of course, you can also go to projects and emphasize music if that's what you want. So let's go back to music tools here, options. You can also fade in and out the music if you want. So that's very useful. So another thing you can do, of course, in Windows Movie Maker is to add visual effects. So if we click on visual effects here in the menu area, there's so many options you can choose from. If we want to add a visual effect to this clip here, we want to make sure it's highlighted first. So click on the clip and we can select different visual effects. So um, for example, this one here, black and white. I like that one. So let's play. So this is how to add visual effects to your clip. So to add a title page at the beginning or in between your clips, depending on where you want it, let's go to the beginning with my cursor. Then you want to click on home. And here where it says title, click on that. As you can see, you've got this black background with the option of writing your text here. So let's just write Safari. And again, we can change the font. So I'm going to change it to Palatino. And uh, we can outline it. Let's go with medium outline. So instead of yellow, let's make it blue. I think blue is always a good outline. Yeah, that looks much better. Okay. As you can see, it's kind of zooming out. Look at that. So that's pretty cool. So we can change the animation for the text by just selecting any of the options here. So maybe we want this or this. Let's just select this first one. I think it looks pretty bomb. And then we want to split it here because I think the title is way too long. So again, we can just go to edit. Oh, and then duration, and we can make that four seconds or even let's manually put 3.5, 3.5 here. There you go. And also we can drag that music track that we've added all the way to the beginning. So let's have a look at our creation so far. Now, if you want to take a snapshot of any part of our video, what we need to do is go to the point that we want to take a picture of, for example, here, this is a nice picture. And then we can click on snapshot. Boom. And this just takes a picture of that particular part of our clip. And as you can see, it's automatically added the picture in here. So that's how to add a snapshot if you want to do that. I'm going to delete this snapshot, however, because I don't want it in this video. So to delete, you just right click and remove. 
So we want to make sure at the menu bar here, we are at the home section and then click on credit. As you can see, it's automatically added that at the end of our video here, and then we can write whatever we want to write here. So let's just put, all right, that, that looks okay. Okay, so the final thing is of course, saving your work at the end. So to save your finished product, you wanna go here to home in the menu area, click on save movie. What I usually select is for high definition display. So, and then of course you name your movie, however you want it to be called. Let's call it test one and then save. So this is how to save your movie. So our video has finished uh, being exported and if we play it just to see what we've created. There you go. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you have any questions, put them down in the comments box. If you are interested in starting your own YouTube channel and you don't know how to go about it, I've made all the tutorials that are necessary for the whole process of starting it, how to link your YouTube channel to AdSense, how to make money from YouTube, and also one-on-one -on -one coaching, which I offer on my website if you're interested in that. I'm gonna link it all down in the description box. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.